A string of recent bomb threats has repeatedly forced evacuations at several schools in Alachua County. Those students are now facing harsh punishment, and law enforcement agencies are teaming up to try and combat the trend. News for Jack's reporter Joe McLean says that one teen actually faces criminal charges now, and another faces expulsion from school. Yeah, take a look. These are the schools that have seen one or more of these threats, some of them bomb threats, each one forcing an evacuation of the campus. All of this happening in just the last several days. And if this sounds like just a funny prank to pull at your school, the school district, the sheriff's office, the police department, and the state attorney's office want you to know this is no laughing matter. At least three students are now facing serious criminal charges after 11 separate threats were made against various schools in Alachua County. Three at Buholes High, four at Newberry High, one at Oak View Middle, one at Eastside High, and two at Gainesville High, the most recent one happening on Thursday. 17-year-old Preston Powers was arrested and is expected to be charged as an adult Friday morning, connected to the three threats at Buholes High. And on Thursday, a 15 and a 17-year-old were taken into custody connected to the Newberry threats. Also on Thursday, Alachua County Sheriff met with agents from local police departments, the school district, and the state attorney's office to coordinate counter efforts to this dangerous trend. A spokesperson for the sheriff's office tells me it's also an expensive trend as each threat must be fully investigated. Each one is taken seriously. Um, the school follows their evacuation procedures. We bring in personnel. It, it's very taxing on resources for us because these school buildings are large. Bomb sniffing dogs were also brought in from the UF Police Department to help check each school after each threat. Forgy said that the five threats at the Newberry schools took up more than 165 man hours to investigate, the equivalent of an entire month's work. Aside from the resources, Forgy said the threats also disrupt the school day. He said they take a toll on the mental health of students and staff and not to mention, they're a crime. With what we see going on around the United States and around the world, it, it's deathly serious. Making a threat like this is a felony offense. Those who are found to be involved could face 15 years in prison and a $10,000 fine. The district said there are also students who are likely to be expelled from their schools over these incidents. Coming up at 11, what the district and the sheriff's office say parents can do to help curb this trend.